G'day guys, I'm Dave Austin, welcome to the channel. Today, what we're chasing is whiting. It's blowing a hard 20 knot offshore wind, westerly, and I'm gonna be chasing some whiting, because as you can see behind me, it's quite pleasant out there. So hopefully we can shade ourselves from the wind and we can get ourselves some nice fish and go from there. Okay guys, here we are on the beach. The sun's about to set. We've got a very hard offshore wind blowing. We're chasing some whiting, some brim and stuff. We've also got the big rod set up, ready to go. We are getting a few bites. Let's do a quick bait change. Just using the tube worms here. I've got from Liverpool Bait and Tackle. We're in pretty good condition. It's all right, let's get them out. Got the big pen prevail out there. That wind from behind us is helping the casting distance. We've got no real formations to work with. So we're hoping to attract anything that just swims past. Oh, that was a good thump. And we're on. I think we're on, yep. Something feels like a whiting or something. Probably something that we can use for a bait. And that's what it is. Oh no. Oh wow, it's a little trevally. Oh, that's not bad. We'll let him go, eh? We'll let him go. So I've got the big, I've got that big one set out with a slab of yellowtail fillet. Pretty big yakka fillet. One whole side. And uh, I'm gonna keep going here with the worms. And if we get like uh, like something we can chuck out live because we don't have much, much swell and we've got the wind behind us, it'll make it easier to cast out a big live bait like a live tailor if you get one. Something's having a crack. Is he still there? Oh, he's still there, he's nibbling. Might be small whiting. Well, at least we got one off the one on the board. Let's get another bait out there. Yeah, we're on. Oh, feels feels like a good fish. As far as whiting go, might be a good live bait size. Might be another Trevally. No, and it's the target species. The good old whiting. So we found them again. How good's that? All right, he's going to be under the side, so we'll have to let him go. The big guy out. I can feel something breathing on it now. Circle hook's done its job. Yes, it has. I think it has. Another baby one. So the rig's working. Oh, they're still there. Little rattles of whiting. Actually, I think I turned my camera off before. I did bring a whiting in, I wasn't recording. And I mentioned him, it was just on legal, so I put him on live. He's on the big rod now. Actually, I do have a fish on here. And yeah, it's another whiting. Another one for the scoreboard. Let's let him go.
All right, off he goes. And we're on again without even, no, is he there? Hey, oh, he's, yeah, he's there. He might have, I might have just pulled the hook on him. Is he there? I think he is. Every cast. Yeah, he's there. Oh, he came off. Lucky bugger. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's see how long it takes us to get a whiting. So we're about to cast. We've got that worm. We peg it out. And I'm hoping that you guys can see that, uh, that glow stick there. And if I'm right, I reckon it shouldn't take too long for us to get a bite. We got a live whiting on the other rod. Here we go. That's it. Ooh. We just had a tap then. As I was saying, we've got a live, a live whiting on the big rod, just to my left up there. I don't know if you can see that. And hopefully that buckles over. I think we got baited on that one. Yeah, I think we've been baited. No good. Let's check our live bait. That's our live bait, guys. All right. This one we can set and forget. Set and forget this one, and we'll try get another one happening. How do we like the setup, guys? Look at that. Have we got enough lighting? Okay. Let's see if the lighting is still around. Get him out. The tide's moving its way out. Let's try to set up that other camera. Oh, we're getting a bite. Looks like we might have one. Let's record on this guy. Let's see how we're recording. Okay. We're getting a bit of a bite. Yeah, hey, something's there. Have we got him? I think he's there. Let's see how we go. Is he there? Yeah, he's there. He is there. He is there. Need to get a, a screenshot for the thumbnail. Hang on one sec. Let's get this on for the thumbnail. Whiting fishing at night. How's that going? All right, nice shot. We don't need this guy. This guy's legal, but we don't need him. 27 centimeters I have to be. Let's let him go. Hoppa. Off he goes. Gonna check that big bait. Oh, 
we're getting the bite here. Yeah, we're on. Good fish. So we've got a nice whiting here. Definitely a better one. Definitely a better one. Bit of an elbow slap of that one. <laughs> All right. Might keep this one. Might keep that one in case we need another bait later on. Lovely. You! Okay, that was a good fish. Let's go get another one. Let's get another one. Here we go. Oh, damn. Is he going to come back? He's there. No. Nah. We lost him. Oh, he's back. Yes, we got him. We got him. Feels like a better one, this one. He's a good one. Another good one. How good's that? Look at that. Circle hook doing the job. We'll keep this guy again. He's legal. Righto, guys. This will be the last worm I'll put on for a while. Then I'm going to put a bit of yellow tail on. We got the wind picking up, so I've got to put some warmer clothes on. It's really, really cold at the moment. So uh, once that sun disappeared, <laughs> the temperature just kept dropping. So let's get this one out. Let's see if we can get one more whiting. And then what we'll do is we'll put a strip bait on just to try to get something different because there's a lot of whiting out there and I've got enough there already for myself. So um, we'll just see what happens. So let's get this one out. Yeah, so as I said, this will be like a strip bait. Look, they're already on. Is he still there? As soon as it hits the water, we're getting whiting. <coughs> I think he might have baited me though. Didn't even touch the, the deck. Okay, so this will be the last worm I'll put on for a while. We'll try to get one more whiting. I've got enough there anyway. We'll see if we can get one last bite or one last fish. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, put some warmer clothes on and I've got to change some GoPro batteries and things like that. So let's get this one out, see if we can get one more. Okay, we've hit the water. Let's see how long that takes to get a bite. My guess is it won't take too long. Yeah, there they are, look, he's got it, he's got it. He's swimming towards us. And we got him. Oh, I think he's still there. He's swimming to the right here. Oh, he just dropped off. He just dropped off. Anyway, let's put a strip bait out there and I'll put on some warm clothes and I'll turn the cameras back on. Righto, we'll put this, uh, this yakka strip on.
And let's see if we can get something smashing that. Something different. So we'll try to get something bigger on that one. I'll check. This wind's picking up now, so we'll, we'll reset the big bait as well. Let's reset this bad boy. All right, no, he's still on. So he's had a go at his eye. Oh, something did have a go at it. Look. Something's had a... Oh, no. Have a look at that. Something's had a go at him. That's why his eye's popping out. Something tried having a crack without... Something without teeth. Not sure what it could be. Some warm clothes on now. Trying to trying to raise my, <laughs> my blood temperature up a bit. Um, yeah, I had a I had a yellowtail fillet out there. Nothing happened for about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, the live bait had a bit of a nick in it. Something something with our teeth had a go at it. Um, you know that could be a salmon, dewy, uh, something along those lines. Um, I don't think it's a shark or anything like that. So something's had a go at it. And uh, had a taste and then let it go. And I didn't see that, I didn't see anything register on the bite. So I'll put the worms back on and we'll just keep persevering with the whiting because uh, I won't be out here for too much longer. And, you'll, and if we do get a big run on that big rod, I'll be sure to record it. It's incredibly cold. The wind's really picking up. And, uh, we will just see if we can uh, stick it out a little bit longer and see what happens. Oh, we had a bite straight off the bat. Not even ready. Wasn't even ready for it. It would have, it would have baited me. Right, uh, let's go again. Oh, I think Sally's having to go the big rod. Big rod's about to go. We're recording on that one yet. Oh, you're kidding me. Just going to leave that out. Something just had a crack at the big rod and my GoPro, my chest, my chest is just gone dead. We'll have to get a new battery, just a sec. So whilst I was, uh, whilst I had that big bite, of course my battery died. Oh! That wind just nearly knocked that over, which is not good. Okay, and we're gonna have to readjust that. Let's check, let's check out what happened to our, uh, to our live whiting. I think we've been baited or sharked. We might've been sharked. I think we've been sharked guys. Okay, rightio. Well, there you have it. <laughs> we got sharked, guys. We got sharked with that. So let's let's get another hook on there. Let's get another whiting. And uh, we'll try to get a shark on camera. Okay. So after that kerfuffle, uh, what we're going to do is uh, I've got a strip of whiting out there, a fillet. And uh, I'm going to try to catch another live whiting and put it straight on and see what happens. But that was just a shark. So let's try. I, I wouldn't mind getting a bronzy for the camera. So have a bit of fun with them.
Let's go. Oh, here we go. It's happened. They might have baited me. Baited. Got to try again. Trying to get a whiting for a live bait. Let's go. Let's get that worm out. Let's try it again. Still got that big whiting fillet out. Got another hour's, hour's worth of fishing left. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, damn. We dropped him. What I am finding funny is I think this, these um, these whiting have gone a little bit on the quiet side. So there might be something big around. I think we're getting a touch on the big rod. Something just breathed on it. He's whiting a body, but they're not committing. They're there. No. Nah. They don't want to commit. When I need a live bait, I can't get one now. I think there's a bit of kelp on the line now. Yeah, it looks like, looks like some kelp's come through. And that other rod's got kelp on it as well. So it's gonna be fun. I think, I think we've got kelp moving in, yeah. We've got kelp moving into the area. Okay, let's see if we can avoid that kelp. Um, hopefully there's not too much of it out there. And I hope that I can stick it out a bit longer and get a livey out there for the last 50 minutes or so of this session. If I get one livey out there, I won't chase any more whiting. I'll uh, leave the big rod out there, slowly pack everything up and just wait for the big rod to buckle over. I think my line's picked up kelp again. Uh, yeah, there's too much kelp out there. Yeah, I think we're going to wrap this up, guys. The kelp, the kelp monsters have moved in. And this is, that's what we're contending with, guys. Bit of a shame. Okay guys, so uh, we're gonna wrap the video up there. Um, I'm gonna slowly start packing up. I'll leave the big rod out there. Uh, if something jumps on, you'll see something else added to the end of this video. But if it doesn't, hey guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, eh? All right, be sure to subscribe and like and all that sort of stuff. Any questions, leave them down in the comments. And what I'll do next time is I'll, I'll bring another partner in crime and we'll set up a few more rods and we'll go for these sharks that are definitely out there. All right, let's see how we go. All right, we'll see how we go next time with that. Tight lines, guys. Take it easy.